Today we now have report cards for how well campaigns have raised money in the first half of the year. Political reporter Will Keneally breaks down those numbers for us. Will? So Eric, the name of the game here four years ago. At 5 o'clock, we walked you through the governor's race, and you can find that on channel3000.com. But here's a look at some other key races this fall. In the attorney general race, incumbent Josh Calls raised $1.2 million in the first six months of 2022. That's more than one of his other Republican challengers, Adam Jarko, who raised only $448,000 over that same period. We're still waiting on numbers for the other two Republican candidates running in that race. If you compare that to four years ago, Adam Jarko's $448,000 is on par with candidates running back then. At that time, Josh Call trailed incumbent Republican Brad Schimmel by just $80,000 point in the campaign. The race for Secretary of State is also interesting as well. That office essentially maintains the state seal, but Republicans want to add election oversight duties to that position. In that race, incumbent Democrat Doug LaFollette has raised $19,000 so far. He has a Democratic challenger, but we don't have numbers from her yet. He has two Republican challengers, Amy Loudenbeck, a former state rep, who's raised $98,000, and Jay Schroeder, who's raised $8,000. Now that's a huge jump compared to four years ago. In the first six months of that campaign, LaFollette raised only $2,000. By election that year, he had garnered uh, $5,000. Again, that's compared to the $19,000 that he's raised so far this year in the first six months. So overall, it's looking like it will be an expensive campaign this year. You can see our full breakdown at channel3000.com.